Born in the UK, Kay Wilson came to Israel in the mid-1980s and became a tour guy. Everything changed for her in 2010 when she and her friend Christine Locken were attacked by two Hamas terrorists in the Jerusalem forest. And I hear the Arabic, Allahu Akbar, and he starts stabbing me in the back and I fall to the ground. And my friend Christine Locken, Zichon Allah she's she's like five feet away and she's been chopped up in front of my eyes. So I played dead. I just prayed, you know, God, give me one more chance. Christine Locken was killed. Kay survived. But this was just the beginning of a process of healing, which, as she put it, never ends. You get on with your life, it evolves into another thing, or if you've buried a kid, there's no closure. In July 2014, Muhammad Zouabi, a 70-year-old Muslim from Nazareth, sparked outrage when he spoke out in the social media against the abduction of the free Israeli teens who were kidnapped and killed in the West Bank by Arab terrorists. Bring them back. And you better bring them back now. Following this act, which was controversial within his community, Muhammad received death threats and was forced to flee his home. Kay, who knew Muhammad through a mutual friend, decided to take a stand and offered to hide him in her house. Kay admits that hosting an Arab under a roof wasn't always easy for her. And one of the things that was hardest for me was to overcome here in Arabic. You know, the last words I hear was Allahu Akbar. On the one hand, I'm looking at Muhammad and I see a kid. You know, I don't see an Arab, but then I hear him speaking on the phone to his mom, and it's in Arabic. But despite the obstacles, the old couple found the common ground. It was definitely difficult, you know, to be far away from home. But the moment I saw her, the moment I felt her, her great desire to help me, despite what she had to go through, I felt home. Kay is now lecturing for Stand With Us, an Israeli information group. She and Muhammad are still in close contact, and hope their story may inspire others to take a chance and get to know the neighbors as people rather than as objects. I think the whole story, the narrative brought together this idea that we're just two people. We're two people. And that's, you can actually multiply that across the Middle East.